Hey YouTubers, here's a quick video on this Sun Force 1000 Pure Sign Inverter. I picked this up off of uh, eBay. I think I paid $65 for it. Um, some information about it. Well, when I got it, I didn't get the remote control. Um, I called up Sun Force and I told them what happened. And in two weeks, they sent me a remote control, no questions asked, and free. I was okay. I was pretty impressed. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use a remote control or not. Um, what you're seeing here is a little telephone wire I've got wired up uh, coming down to a little push button switch here. And well, what's the purpose of this? This is going to be a second inverter, sort of a backup that I'm going to install in the RV. Now, this is a pure side inverter that I plan on running you know, the laptop and computer um, and the TV off of. Uh, it'll only be hooked up to one circuit. Um, well, what you're looking at here is some modifications I've done. Now, these things, there's no way to mount them. So let me take the cover off and I'll show you what I've done here. So what I basically did over here is I went to Home Depot and I got some uh, one and a half by one and a half thin gauge aluminum angle and I sandwiched, sandwiched it between uh, the inner piece and the outer piece there as you can see well, I gotta fix that screw but it's gonna be mounted on the underside um, of our bed in the RV compartment um, basically something like that so it's hanging gives it a way to mount uh, the insides of this thing uh, a lot of people were commenting that uh, now the two outlets are 500 watts a piece. That is not true. They are wired in parallel inside, and there is a ground, so it is a floating ground on you. The ground, uh, the neutral is not ground on you. As just that's the same with the other inverters. And you can see where I just kind of wired my telephone line. It's a thin gauge wire. I just wired two of them. To each side. Uh, this switch here does run 13 volts so when it closes um, I tried running it with one conductor and telephone wire wasn't enough so I ended up using two on each side and it works pretty well it's already been tested and well I'll put it to use and I'll keep updating it I do have my Tundra 1500 watt installed and it runs fantastic this will be a supplement or as a backup to it